Batjack JW and it's blue box time again. <laughs> All right, I did some trading some months back. I uh, just haven't really had a chance to do a video with it, so um, decided to bring it out and finally do a video with it. It's a Colt Commander in nine millimeter. I know some people think it's sacrilegious to have a 1911 and nine millimeter. I don't. I'm always open for new ideas and always uh, looking for newer things and different colors of shades of life this is certainly really cool uh, as uh, being a big fan of the Browning high power myself uh, this was absolutely something that I want to explore uh, I used to have a 45 caliber uh, commander in back in Hawaii when I lived there and I sold it to a buddy of mine and ever since then always missed it but um, I figure I picked this one up. This one came along, a uh, fellow just wound up, uh, you know, I just met up with him and he wound up selling it. So um, price is really good. Uh, so I traded awesome stuff and I acquired it from him. And what one of the things that really attracted me to this kind of a platform too is for me growing up with movies such as Cobra with uh, Sylvester Stallone, uh, he has a 9mm 1911. Not this exact gun, but something very like, very much like it. So, yeah, of course, it's a uh, commander. You know, you get the hammer and everything. Now, one cool thing about this is this is all uh, plain Jane, if you would. Uh, it's pretty much, uh, you know, kind of like a just a throw a throwback kind of uh, nothing fancy on it. You know, no high ribe beaver tail and all that, which I like this configuration. I've always liked this style of a 1911, and so this this very much appealed to me. And uh, I realized that even though this is not a very old one, uh, it's a little difficult to find one like this in this configuration in nine. Of course, now Colt has the lightweight commander in nine, which has the uh, alloy frame. This one does not. And uh, this one doesn't have all the uh, bells and whistles. I like them like this. Again, so, you know, nothing like a, a, a true old school one. Now, some of the things that I changed around on it, and I'll uh, go ahead and let you know that. Uh, obviously, the grips. I, I went ahead and changed out them grips. Um, I put a arched mainspring housing on it. Now, that one came from Ed Brown. And I got a, uh, got a hold of a vintage old school Colt short trigger inside the box I'll uh, go ahead and grab the stuff out of the box here now, of course uh, I kept the original trigger that's what the original trigger was and I had a couple of sets of grips the, those were on there when I got them uh, real fancy uh, rosewood kind of grips And I think you have the original ones here. I also got the uh, rubber you know, finger grooves there to wrap around it. These are the original grips. These are the um, you know, these are the original wood that I believe came with them. The double diamond checkered uh, walnut grips or so. These are the magazines. Original Colt magazines. But I believe they're not actually Colt made. I believe these are Magar or Metgar magazines. They're not actually, even though Colt probably just uh, bought them from them and marked them themselves. Um, I went ahead and for my uh, purpose when I picked up the Wilson Combat you know, magazines there for it uh, to run it. So I just stored away all the other stuff that, that originally came with it. So and uh, so yeah shorten the trigger like I like I'm kinda weird like that I, I like things opposite the way people do what whatever um, arch mainspring housing and everything so it fits fits in my hand hey you know what my gun my rules right um, I added a nice gold bead to the front sight so I can easily pick it up um, always like 1911s and this commander size and 9 millimeter is certainly something really cool I mean the bluing is just done really well love it love it so anyway I just figure I bring that out and show it to you Batjack JW 
And that is my Colt Commander in 9mm.